All right, man. So. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at Kamala. Yo, this dude here. Oh, wait. What I, what, what I did? <laughs> nothing. What I nothing. did? What nothing. I did? Wait, wait, nothing. Uh, nah, me. Nothing. Uh, What's up, man? How y'all uh, feeling? It's been a while. Back. Oh, matter of fact, nah, let's do this the right way. I know yeah, Wolf yeah, not yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Welcome back to the Each One Teach One podcast, episode 13. Episode um, Yeah, episode 13. We've been away for a little bit. You know how it go. It's holiday season. Um, yeah. I hope you missed us. We missed y'all, but now it's back to business, and the homies are here. You already know I got Cavallo on my right. What's up, uh, everybody? Fly guy. The one and only. Yes, sir, the <laughs> one and only. And I got, you already know who I got to my far right. Trap is here. Yo, what's up, man? Peace, How King. Doing, man? Glad tea. to be back. Nigga said toxic tea. You got to chill out with that. <laughs> I'm not toxic. I might have been this. He said this every episode, but then he say some toxic stuff. What I be saying that's toxic though. Everyone, you can go rewatch every episode on YouTube. <laughs> every episode. And you can comment on this video <laughs> Yo, if I'm correct. Trap is big T. That's the big new T. big T. Yo, big trap. T is a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't calling you big, but you definitely trap. toxic. Nah, <laughs> trap, aka big T, man. Yo, big T. For real. Crazy. But yo, gentlemen, how y'all doing? Yo, I'm good, man. I'm good. I can't complain. You know what I mean? Like I said, we've been off for a minute, you know, just enjoying life, you know what I mean? That's all. Yes, sir. How you feeling about Studio B? Oh, I'm loving this, you know what I mean? Studio B gang, you know what I mean? <laughs> Facts. Upgrade for 2023. Facts. You know I love, I'm liking this show. Yeah, you know? yeah. We still at aesthetic. WTF Media, by the way. Oh, we still at WTF Media where oh, the magic right. happens. Wolf the Legend is here. T is here. Cavallo, how you been, brother? Been, Fly guy? I've been um, I've been amazing, man. I miss I missed you guys. Facts. Oh, we miss you too, King. Oh, <laughs> This does. Yeah, facts. Facts. It's potting. Facts. Oh, nah. Um, potting. But, you know, we back now. Everything is good. Work is good. Why niggas be afraid to be vulnerable, man? <laughs> it's all right to say you missed us, man. Damn, look. See, I missed y'all. See how men be? I look, missed y'all. You can't even say you missed it's, niggas. It's look, okay look. when you do it, but when, when you got somebody <laughs> who's like him, who's like, oh, my baby. Look, you want to hold hands? Hold my hand. Come on. Hold my hand. Come on. <laughs> hold my hand. <laughs> The fuck? Uh, <laughs> like, Jesus I, Christ. I missed y'all. I couldn't just say that and you let it go. Like, <laughs> you got to comment on it. Of course. Like, right. Come on. I'm... Podcasting is my therapy. Like, <laughs> yeah, being yeah, with y'all, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Being around men, yeah. talking about men shit, talking about life yeah. shit. Man, I'm happy to be back. Yeah. Listen, you, you know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, lady. always I, with your girl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I be with my girl, but you always with your girl. I be with some girls, but you with your Every day, 24-7. That's I don't know how up. you do it. Nah, I mean, my girl get on my nerves after. I'd be like, yo, I'd be like, all right. But you big T. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you you see, T, you, like. see I, you see, I ain't gonna say look. The, 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 it, we've been filming for five seconds here, already talking toxic. How am I talking toxic? Five minutes on. My girl get on my nerves. Yeah, so y'all girls don't get on your nerves sometimes. Nah, I love absolutely. I, I like everybody I be with. Every oh, so you don't have one girl? No, nah, I'm I'm single. So oh, all right, all right. I'm, bachelor, like I'm bachelor. I'm in the streets, you know. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why are you giving him that? Being in the streets is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you single. Oh uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I Only mean. When that's you what I'm single. saying. Yo, I gotta bring. I that's gotta put round of applause back I, on this shit. It. I do not. I do not. You know. I do not tolerate the cheating thing. So I am single and I am dating and stuff. So oh, but when you in a relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. He's putting that. Out there, any ladies interested? Cavallo single. He's just letting y'all know he's out. He's out. Yeah, there. He's available. Got you. Right? Yeah. See, I mean, do they watch the show? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Everybody that, yeah, they definitely gonna support me. So. All the single okay. females, yeah, Cavallo's yeah, yeah, available. Yeah, yeah. Just to let y'all know, he's searching. Oh, he's looking. But gentlemen, gentlemen, man, it's good to be back. And you gotta be black. It's the each one teach one podcast. So you know we gotta start with social justice, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So in the news, mm -hmm. there's a viral video about a young lady. Um. Mrs. Robinson, rest in peace, um, that um, allegedly died from alcohol poisoning mm -hmm. when she went on vacation in um, Mexico. With her so-called friends. With her so-called friends. They I said love it wasn't, but they said it wasn't alcohol poisoning, right? Yeah, I mean. The, the coroner said that. It, it was, was not alcohol. Broken neck, broken spinal cord, you know. Spinal yeah. Cord. How you break somebody's spinal cord? Yeah. Like, that was murder, you yeah. feel me? But the sickening thing about it is that everyone came home and left that young lady in Mexico. And just went on about their day and their life and told her mother, like, yo, she died from alcohol poisoning. And, like, people like that, that's that's just sick and disgusting. It's like, <clears throat> you do that, and then just to come home and be like, oh, well, she died from this, and just go mm -hmm. on about your... Nah. People like that don't get no sympathy from me. Absolutely. That's, yeah, that's just real grimy. Luckily, unfortunately, but luckily the 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 the, the footage leaked because like no one would have known no, that right. she actually was getting beat up. 
Like someone could have just assumed yeah. that she got beat up by someone that's out there, you know, mm -hmm. a person that she lives there. We wouldn't know. So unfortunately, we had to watch her getting, you know, beat up by her friends. But it's sad. And it's in the worst place, too, like in a foreign country. Right. Yeah. Think about getting on a plane with someone <laughs> flying across yeah, the world with some, someone yeah. mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. And in the video, people filming it are saying fight back. Right. And she's saying no. Yeah. Yo, people are sick, man. They don't get no sympathy, man. I wish them nothing but the worst. Yo. Yeah. Nothing but the worst should come to nothing. There's so many details yeah, that, that need that, to that. come out. I heard that they said that the person who was the, the person that we see on the camera is being up is trans. So it's oh. like even more worse. Even more worse. Yeah, if even that's more true. worse. If it's true. true. Yeah, that's true. That's what they're saying online. Wow. Like, Jeez. And where are your friends to break it up, right? They, they all clearly wasn't on her side. Like, what is this? You took me on vacation as a crew to kill me? That's what it's and then like. you come back home and go to my mother's house with my with my luggage <clears throat> yeah. and console her? <clears throat> yeah, that's evil. Yeah, no, nah, that's evil. Yo, people yeah. are really yo, people are yo, evil, yo. bro. Yo. Yo, the wicked. That's so crazy. I'm, I'm supposed to be going away with my friends in January. We was in the chat and they was like, yo, we're not pulling nothing like that. <laughs> we only argue with no fights. No fights. <laughs> we can argue, but there will be no fighting. Come on, no like, friendship is is gonna be like perfect. But that's not what a friendship. I don't think they're friends. You can't tell me. I mean, in the, me that, um, the article I read, um, her best friend is the one that brought her luggage back. That clearly ain't her best friend, man. Shit, sad. Best friend would have helped. It would have jumped in. Something. I'm jumping in every every fight. My best friend got facts. Every single same. One. Shout out to Nuki. For real, like, <laughs> I don't want the viewers to think that when we talk about social justice, it's only about the law enforcement, yeah, 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 judicial yeah. system, and all that. Like, we hold each other accountable, you feel me? So, um, rest in peace, baby girl. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened. Mm. Shouldn't have happened. Um, shout out to Kyrie Irving, who donated 60, 65000 to her GoFundMe, mm. to her family. Like, that's one thing about Kyrie, like... I really like about him and I applaud him for the George <laughs> Floyd situation. He does his stuff on the low, bought George Floyd's family a home. Mm -hmm. I believe when that whole thing happened with this young lady, like he's one celebrity athlete that's aware of what's happening and always adds value without looking for like attention. Yeah, you know what I mean? Applause and shit. Like, yeah. salute to Kyrie. Everybody does it for applause now. That's what I said. It's performative. Everybody, yeah, everybody has this performative action stage that they do now. It's just for show and for likes and clickbait. Like, celebrities do it. Regular people do it now when they be fake outraged about certain shit. Like, some of the stuff that people be outraged over, I look, I'd be like, it's so much things, more worse things in the world that you could be outraged over. And y'all want to be outraged over stupid shit like... Fucking the same arguments. Um, who could pay all the bills or fucking outrage over rap lyrics? Like we, yeah, like I mean, we outrage over jokes and rap lyrics and shit like that. When, when fucking Gazane Maxine, her, her fucking client list, the judge won't release it. But you're not are not worried about that, like you know, because they all got friends, of course. Absolutely. That, that so of course it's not gonna be released. But it's like it's so much shit that you could be upset about. But some of the stuff that people be outraged about, I just be like. I'm not outraged by Fake it. Fake outrage. Then, yeah, and then when you're not outraged by it, then they get mad at you. It's like, bro, I don't have to feel like how you feel. <laughs> like, I hate when people do that. Like, just because you outraged over something, I am i don't have to be outraged for it. Like, my morals don't have to align with yours, and I Absolutely. don't have to be a bad person mm -hmm. because, I, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's what we got to get over. Uh, and it's like, all the people turning on Kyrie now, it's like, mm -hmm. it's just foolishness. It's like, like, you can't be your own independent person, like, without... Everybody coming to attack you or criticizing you if you don't think like them. Like he he shared the link to a post. That's it. He apologized. Yeah, the owner of the fucking nets putting them through this fucking system. Yeah, yeah. Which is stupid. Like and we already know what that's about, trying to make an example of him. Absolutely. Being and I just find it being hypocritical because he's the same guy that's donating money in China to exterminate Muslims over there. Crazy. But you over here condemning somebody. What are we Crazy. talking about? Like, people are so hypocritical. Like, but you donating your money over there to exterminate Muslim, Chinese Muslims over there. Ridiculous. But, but, but Kyrie's the bad guy. Then you got all these fucking black entertainers and celebrities on TV condemning him. It's like, what are we doing? Like, you know what I want? I need fucking NBA, NFL, all the sports channels. Just go back to talking sports. Like, I don't need to turn on the channel and hear y'all talking about 
politics, politics or anything. Religion. Anything. Like, I need to just talk to sports because that's what y'all good at and that's what y'all profession, professions in. So, I mean, professionals in. Y'all need to stick to that. Like, because some of the stuff y'all be saying and talking about, y'all don't even know what y'all be talking about. But see, the thing is, they feel like because they're on TV and they feel like because they went to some prestigious school, most of them, they feel like they have the authority over regular black people. And I'd be like, and, and I'd be like, y'all got to get off your high horse because just because y'all have an education <laughs> don't mean y'all know what y'all talking about because all, all education is, is is mostly indoctrination. And like a lot of them don't mm. even do any mm. research outside of what they've been told in school. So when a regular person does come up with something, they automatically be like, you don't know what you're talking about. You ever you ever been dealing with a, 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 a college educated black person like if it comes to a specific subject like say if you might read something outside of school that the first thing out of their mouth is oh well I went to school for it so you don't know what you're talking about it's like bro like you can't be wrong you can't be wrong just because you went to school for it that means you automatically write and you know everything like that's that and that's my problem with a lot of these niggas like they don't they don't stand for nothing they have no backbone and it's like I get on TV and y'all quick to condemn another black person with the quickness and defend of people who at the end of the day, won't even have your back at the end of the day. Nah, for real. And, and a part of life and growing is still learning. Exactly. Right? You learn every day, you yeah, teach every day. You like, if I'm, yeah, don't condemn me. If I make a mistake or I misspeak, speak to me about it. Help me grow, help me learn, right? And you know, us at the Each One Teach One podcast, we're big on keeping the same energy. Mm -hmm. We got Brett Favre who stole $700 million from the poor people. Exactly. And he got, my thing is this, and he has money. He could have built the fucking gym for his daughter. For itself, but that goes again what I'm trying to tell you. Like even rich people or people with money, they still everybody like they always <laughs> trying to put it like, everybody say everybody still. <laughs> no, nah, they do though. They like but they oh, always trying to make it seem like only poor people get away with scamming and some like rich people do it all the time too. Mm -hmm. Poor people don't get away with scamming. Yeah, they don't. Rich people get away with yeah. it. Yeah, because they have the means and have the money. Yeah, it's like, and, but it's like and to the sports analyst, right? Mm -hmm. Why aren't they just as strong on everyone else? You know I why. feel like they come down harsher on you know black why. athletes. You yeah. know why? Because it's easier to come down on black people. You know why? Because there's no Because I'm black? Because there's no consequences. Who's going to stop them from doing it? But That's if I do it to, black. like, Brett Favre, if there's consequences behind it? Yeah. Same thing for Aaron Rodgers with the whole yeah, jab man. thing. But my thing with the whole Aaron Rodgers and the jab thing is, like, he didn't want to get the jab. There's nothing wrong with that. He has a right to not want to get that. But he lied about getting the jab. So and I lied then, about it getting it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got to do what you got to do to get like, around I it. I feel like, fuck but they didn't condemn him. Kyrie hey, got crucified. I know, but, but again, you know why? Yeah, yeah. He not he don't got the complexion yeah, for the protection, <laughs> man. He don't got the complexion for the protection, my Yo, boy. Man, I feel you like know they, the world we live they in. They forget people are, are human still. Like even though exactly. they're celebrities and they're athletes, they forget right. that they're still human. They're still, so it's like, thank you. I'm glad you said that. I could have, I could have put the the same link out. As, as Kyrie and still gave the same apology so why is it that you know they're going so hard on him but I feel like they're going extra hard on him because he's like so outspoken and he stands on, he stands on what he believes like with the COVID yeah. stuff he's like I'm not getting the, mm -hmm. the vaccine and now everybody mad because now you don't need the vaccine no more and he's the only one that didn't he's like right. one of the main ones who didn't get it so it's like okay we can't keep letting him make us look stupid on TV so that's, we gotta yeah, I think we gotta make yeah, yeah that's, that's what so I think that's what it is. they still mad about the COVID but you know what's funny about he's all of this COVID like, thing like, yeah. you know what's funny about all of this all the people that was loud and doing all of this shit now that the information is coming out that there are adverse effects to the vaccine and all of the stuff that people were saying mm -hmm. we conspiracy theories about, all of it is coming true now. And those same people that were so loud, it's quiet now. Right. And I hate that. It's like, yo, y'all was so loud. Y'all was wishing <laughs> death on people. Y'all was saying mad crazy <laughs> shit. Wishing all death. Oh, because we didn't want to get a vaccine. And now that it's coming true, what's happening, now all of a sudden y'all quiet. Like, get out of here. I hate people like that. Like, people who are fucking hypocrites, bro. Like, nah, fuck y'all, man. He's <laughs> like my dick. Yeah. Travis yeah. Chewy. Right. That Big T. Big T. I'm inviting them to the meet. That's Big crazy. Because niggas is stupid. Yo, Big that's is crazy, shooting. bro. Like, y'all really was... I had to listen to y'all for two years go on and on. And then just for it to not... Just for it to come out the other way now, y'all quiet. Yeah. yeah. But and also, too, to add on to what you were saying, too, you know what it is also? We put a lot of... 
our faith in celebrities and we keep looking to them for leaders. Boom. And the problem with that is like Boom. anytime they have a different opinion that doesn't go along with us, we'd be quick to cancel them and we'll be like, oh, we don't like you. But it's like, stop doing that. They are not our leaders. You have to lead yourself. <laughs> yeah. And you also have to understand like people can have different opinions and different views on things. Like everything doesn't have to be, oh, I'm against you because you think like that. You could be a conservative. You could be a liberal. It doesn't matter. But as soon as you say something that's not in the lines, they automatically label you a conservative or you or you this or that. It's like, yeah. bro, people grew up different. People we could have, have a difference of exactly. opinion in an am amicable manner, right? Yeah. Right, exactly. I ain't got to agree with everything you say. And, and is that, and, and you know, but I do have a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. Do you think the black community, we need leaders? We have to lead ourselves. In what way? Yeah. So when you think about... Um, each one teach one, the civil rights movement, right? right? We had MLK on the front line, we had Malcolm X on the front line, and when it came to sports, we had Jim Brown, we had Muhammad Ali, we had these people on the front lines for and speaking publicly um, for black people. And I think sometimes that's what Kyrie tries to do, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have that backing. It can't just be one man. Right. And I think that... <clears throat> And throughout, we weren't alive. Right. Our parents were. You yeah. do separate bathrooms yeah, and all yeah, of that. Right. I think that having like leaders, people to mm -hmm. even just give us motivation, insight, like but, helped out versus now where it's a free for all. But those are leaders. I feel like what we have now is just celebrities with opinions. Right. That's two different things. And not only mm. that, also back then they had actually had communities, and you had to actually pick and choose who you want. Be like, all right, we uh, we um we select this person to be our leader, such and such. Like, but right now we don't have communities. We everybody's all for themselves and, and individuals. So we'll, we'll never progress said, that exactly. way. Exactly. So until yeah. we build the community, and that but that's the thing. We it's hard to build communities because soon as somebody has a different of opinion on you, you be you be going to shut them. Yeah, and it's like, bro, how how is that possible? Like, why can't we? We can't we can't have a different of opinion and still move and and, and be together and and, and progress. And that and that's one of our biggest issues. It's like you know what's funny when a celebrity don't give their opinion or something, then y'all go oh you should give your opinion. Then yeah, when they yeah. give you one, stand up for this. But person. but yeah. then when it's not what you want them to hear, oh fuck you, fuck. Yeah. It's like we so backwards. they can't win. You can't we like stop people. doing that. I be feeling so bad. It, it be us. It be us. It be us. It is like oh we can't keep blaming. Yeah, it be them. us. Yeah, it be us. No, but it, it be really us. be us. Like it really be us. And like, you can still blame them, but it be us though. No, like, I mean, I'm talking about for did. our problems though. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about for our our inside problems. Oh, yeah, it be us. Like the, us judging us. each other. If you ever go on, on the shade room and just read the comments when it, when something happens to I don't a celebrity shit like that. No, I mean, not I follow. I'm talking about I don't I don't follow the page, but I go on the page when like something happens just to see what's going on. But if something good happens to one of our people or something bad, it doesn't matter. You in the comments, you're always gonna see most of our people talking bad. Of course, it's not like it's mad white folks and and they're like, oh. Oh, you black people. It's I'm different. A... It's different no. worlds we live in. That's why. But I'm saying it's so. different worlds we live in. Yeah, you gotta understand that. Damn, you but think it'll ever get better? No, it's too much. It's... Everyone has the Everyone has a voice now. Social social and media, the, the internet. It's gonna get back worse. Then, a lot of we had to listen to, to Michael. Like, we had to listen to you know mm. Martin Luther King with him speaking. Mm -hmm. and be like, oh, we agree with that. We, we feel the same way. Now everybody's Even if opinion. You don't have a group yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, but now everybody's opinion. So now I was like, oh, you feel away, but I feel this way. And then it's like, well, your opinion matters too. So now it's just still more. Be it's not gonna never get, uh, you know, yeah. solved. The I think is, yeah, I think that like us, right? Mm -hmm. Black people all overall aren't forgiving of amongst the community of, of each other right oh. like it's you like if you, in order to be a leader you have to be perfect and that's not and that's, that's not realistic that's not realistic and that's the you problem. think so you be yeah perfect. that's how that's in how the, our wanna, community that's how they, they want you to be i don't think michael mech was perfect i don't think michael mech was, was perfect no, but, but we still looked up to him we did but we in different times right now <laughs> We're not, Way different times. Is, that's how to like you can't even mess up during these times because as soon uh, as you do, they be like, oh, but like, yeah, even they wasn't perfect back then, but like they're quick to bring up your background if you yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. bro, it's like, damn. But that's everywhere though. Even in, po in politics, as soon as you that's run, it's like, I'm oh, saying. we found some dirt. <laughs> you was cheating on your wife in 1975. Like they tried to bring they it up. About, they did that to MLK. They did that to everybody. Yeah, Malcolm X. Remember he was yeah. Malcolm Little and he used to fuck white girls. So what? He used to have sex with white bitches back in the day. I never did, but you know that's what he wanted. He made that point. He made sure he said that. I don't care, bro. Never, but Yo, Jack comfortable in the studio. Yo, with me, man. Yo, he got his leg. Yo, talking he's like, I'm comfortable. Yo, that's how, that's how they they tried to bring that up. Oh, because he did drugs and all that. So what? He smoked a little weed. So what? <laughs> little weed. Who? My, 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 right, he was doing. He was doing all that. Yeah. But shout out to him. But though. my thing is, he changed. And then but changed. my thing is, yeah, 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 bro. And, yeah, and yeah, they don't want you. It's like they never want you to. But in this generation, it's like you can't grow. Yeah. And if you make a mistake, you can't learn. You can't re-educate yourself. Like, you got to be borderline perfect. We had so much people that tried to <laughs> take a leap. People like 
Dr. Umar. Bro, he just want to build a school, bro. And, and niggas like, tried to and niggas tried to get on him for having sex. He's low key crazy though. If you ever watch the videos, he's low key crazy. Stuff he say is really crazy it's sometimes. Crazy. It, it, some of the stuff could be extreme, but so what? Extreme, but yes, extreme. It's like, really damn, so. like because you had a camera like a phone, relax. Yeah. Nah, it's just relax. Like, I think it's just the way he delivers it sometimes. But other than that, bro, but bro, he just want to build a school, bro. And how you not behind that? That's one of the things I hear a lot of people say, oh, we need schools, we need this. And the man trying to build one, and niggas is giving him a hard time. But niggas I keep trying to bring up the fact he has sex with a stripper. So what? The man never said he was celibate or whatever. Yeah. He, he can't. Niggas can't have sex with strippers. So <laughs> what? I'm not saying. <laughs> now you you can't just be having sex with any kind of girl when you a certain. I type know of that, man, but though. he didn't know she was at the time. She came to right, the right, thing. Right, right, How you don't nah, know? Because he said, "Not nah, listen." He, he the like Kamala came, don't believe nah, it. Nah, listen. He she came to this. You know. <laughs> no. Uh, he gotta get it out. <laughs> She came with her regular, not with her stripper clothes. He ain't okay. know when she came into the event, she was dressed regular. Okay. So what's hey, I, I'm supposed to ask you like, yo, you a stripper? You don't know that. And even if she was, so what? Yeah. Our strippers people. Now yeah. strippers not people. Now after all of this activism <laughs> going on now, now we don't support all sex workers. All this. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't support sex work. I thought we support sex workers now. Nah, that's a fact. Was, is that a, was that a thing? I don't remember that. I don't know. Yo, I Wolf, that Wolf, before you came in, right? We were um talking about the young lady. Um, Mrs. Robinson that was murdered in um, Mexico, Cabo yeah. on vacation, <laughs> and her friend said that she died of alcohol poisoning, mm. right? And we were just talking about, imagine getting on a plane with your people, right? Landing somewhere, and your same people are filming someone literally assault you to the point where you're like, I don't want to fight. And then those same people go home, bring your bags to your parent house, and say you died of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> what that was the situation? Mm-hmm. FBI so got, is investigating it. So now. she got uh, beat she to was death. assaulted. Yeah, she was assaulted. Mm-hmm. And then they came back and said it was something else. She yeah. died out. Well, they called her. Why they called they, they allegedly and they called the parent. They, they one of them called the mother and said, Oh, she's not feeling well. She had alcohol poisoning. it. And then another one called the mother and said something different. That's why the mother was already on edge <clears> about <throat> the different stories. Idiots. Yeah. So I'm like. Y'all, if y'all was gonna do that, y'all should have made that story right. Cause how how old are these kids? I mean, well, she was twenty. Twenty two. Oh, 25? She, I think she's twenty five, and I think they're like a little bit older. They, they're all like in the same age bracket. What's like. their What's their ethnicity? But us. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like twenty, they should twenty five around that range. Twenty five and up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was way too smart to be doing dumb shit like that at twenty five. But some people, you know, mm. age is not linear. It's growth not is not growing. linear. Mm-hmm. Bring back the guillotine, man. Off with their heads. No, <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, yes. Off he, with their heads. You're always straight to death with I mean, something. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like nice. this. Can we? Things but, like that? Nah, I don't yo, want straight things. death. If somebody does it to my to anybody that I know, I don't yo, want you to just Kavala, die. Nah. I need torture. Kavala. I need you that's to enough torture. For no, that's not torture. That's, yeah, yeah, that's automatic death. You're the sick nigga, really. He said he needs to torture him. Take the nigga lights off. Be done with it. Yeah, I want to be. How was that? How was that? How was that? Him suffering though. Consequence. That's not consequence. He don't care. Torture. Oh, that's I not consequence. You want to see this nigga bleed, bro? bro. <laughs> I want to go to the. I want to go to the every day and take a nigga finger off every day. Nah, I understand that for sure, Put right? His nuts on the dresser and bang him with a spike back, <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, if, nah, if, I if mean, needed, what? if need be, bro. There's some evil. <laughs> there's some evil people in the oh, world, yeah. bro. Like, do you know that her mother? It's and we. I know we gonna get to take off. Rest in peace, King. Um, PNB Rock, rest in peace, King. Yo, Do you know that, that their family members just have to go to YouTube yeah. and see their lifeless bodies on the floor? That's so this mother shit. is going to see her daughter saying, I don't want to fight. Yeah. I don't want to fight. And to the point where she dies, bro. And, like, I wish I could bring my father here and, like, translate for him. Because right. my father, whoa, my father always <laughs> give me game, right? And this sounds way better in Creole, but I'm going to try to, like, say it in English, right? My father always used to tell me, like, Falcon Zomil. Mm-hmm. My zoes that's watching, Falcon Zomil, they, they know what that means. Falcon is Zomil, right? Basically, what that means is you got to know your friends. Yeah. My father told me in this life, there's three levels of friends. Mm-hmm. There's the friends that have to wait outside. There's the friends that can come upstairs. And there's the friends that can sleep over. Mm. All three are friends. Mm. You respect them all equally, but the love you have for them is different. Mm -hmm. And you also need to know where you fall on that totem pole (laughs) with that friend, right? right? Mm. If you're a friend that has to wait outside, I'm not going on vacation with you. Right. If you're a friend that could come up, 
but you got to leave, we could talk about it. Right. If you're a friend that could sleep over, <clears throat> then let's book a trip. Okay. So I want to know where those group of people <laughs> fell in her friendship group. Mm. Yeah. Because now she, there's three strangers, four, Wolf the Legend here, mm -hmm. talking about a 25-year-old queen that probably, like, just finished with her BA or maybe yeah. her master's, thinking about marriage and kids, dying on YouTube. What was, like, so can, can I get a little bit more information on the situation? Like, they were... Uh... So they were celebrating, like, one of the friend's birthdays. Okay. And... It's not out yet why they were just beating her up. Right. But the video just shows one of the friends beating her up badly. Beating her up badly. And she's not fighting back. And the person who's recording it, back. person recording is like, fight back, fight back. And she's like, no. And it's just, luckily, well, I don't, it's only, right now, it's only that footage of just that one friend beating him up. I don't know about the other friends right. beating them up. From the way the video looks, it had to be other, like more people because from what I've seen, I don't see any like neck breaking, cervical right, right, right. breaking, all that. We don't know what the fight was Rest about. Rest in peace, Shanquella yeah. Robinson. Yeah, Shanquella Robinson. Shanquella yeah. Robinson, mysterious death in Mexico, smells like a setup to her father. He tells TMZ he believes his daughter was attacked as a part of a diabolical plan. Shanquella, who was from North Carolina, was found dead last month in her room in Los Cabos, where she was vacationing with a group of friends. Her parents say the friends told them 25-year-old died of alcohol poisoning but had a, a fractured spine. Yeah, that's wild. <clears throat> that's wild. You know how hard you got to hit somebody to fracture their spine? Yeah, for sure, bro. For that's sure. like car accident type stuff. For sure. That's bro. like, yeah, ve ve vehicle yeah. accidents. Not like, no like fighting. Extreme blunt trauma like, yes. or trauma type yes. shit. Like, you got to come with some power to do something. Yeah. Kill me. Yeah. Fuck on some you. Bring back the guillotine. You got to know your friends, yeah, man. Bring it back, man. Bring, bring back, back the guillotine. Yo, real chief. Oh, yo, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Yo, if Hot Pops is watching, I'm going to bring you here. I'm going to bring you here to meet the homies, them right man. There. For real. Be like, we are here today to have the witnesses <laughs> of... And then have the shit. Yeah. Right with, the, with the arms too? Yeah, with the arms too, everything. They got it, that's it. Yeah, man. Yo, Ask them if they have any last words. No, you don't. Uh, and that's it. Nah, but uh, and we go about our day. Justice for Shinquella, man. Mm -hmm. Justice you for you, do, man. Yeah. Um, and prayers for I'm your. Waiting parents, for more details. Man. To come yeah, out, though. I need. To I, I don't know. need more details yeah, at this sick. point. Yeah, that's sick. It's sick, right? Yeah. It's sick. I mean, I would want to know why they were fighting, though. Nah, me, but I like that we don't only hold police officers and the judicial system accountable yeah, in the social right. justice segment, oh, yeah, right? Nah, yeah, of course. We hold everybody nah, accountable. That's how it feel should me? be, everybody. Yo, choose your friends wisely, yo, for real. Know your friends. Remember, you got friends that could stay outside, friends that could come up, and friends that could sleep over, yo. Pick yeah, them wisely. That's a fact. Pick them wisely, yo. There's a, a lot of evil in the world, man. Oh, yeah. A lot of fucking evil in the world. Too much evil. I feel like every time we come here, we gone for a week, Dead rapper. That's true, though. So that takeoff shit still piss me off every time I think about Rest it. Rest in like, peace, takeoff. I'll be trying to listen man. to music, then I scroll and I see something from the Migos. Then my brain just be like, I'll be like, yo, they really killed takeoff. Like, yeah, bro. That's all the I keep saying. The least problematic member that's of the Migos. That's all I keep saying, son. I'll be like, yo, they really killed... Yo, I that's why I understand why black people be like, they don't like to hang around niggas. Because, you know, there's a difference mm -hmm. between black people and niggas. Bro. And I understand when black people be like, yo, I don't Man, like to go anywhere with niggas bro. because you can't go nowhere with niggas. Because look, you you just bro. there. I mean, I get it. Y'all playing dice. You got to be aware. But like, come on, bro. Nah, that shit real though. It man. is though. My mom used to say that. I get it now. Yeah, I get it now too. My mom used to say that too. And I used to be like, yo, and I used to feel away. Like, my what mom you still mean? say what that. What you, you mean by that? Yeah, but now way. I understand what you say. As I got older, I understand it. Like, I don't yeah. want to be, can't be around niggas, man. Because niggas is. Niggas is untrained. Yeah. Untrained. And then nobody know, and then no niggas is quick to pick up a gun. Nobody know no. how to shoot. Nobody don't want to go get trained. Nobody know like, how to talk. Talk. Yeah, nobody know how to talk. Bro, no let's more. Talk, nobody know how to bro. fight no more. At least fight. Yeah, like let's talk. If the talking don't work, let's fight. Yeah, niggas. You gonna go, you gonna kill me, bro. Yeah. You gonna take me away from my mother. Shoot, and then niggas just be shooting in the crowd, just shooting. Yeah, All right, yeah. And they didn't even get the one they was even aiming for, because I don't know what they was even arguing about. Yeah, I don't even know what they were arguing about. Yeah, what yeah. they arguing about and yeah. then bro, like, dead. Even if you like, yo. You know, all of us here have heard, like, and I'm Wolf too, man. Wolf, the legend is a New Yorker now. <laughs> like, I know he, when y'all hear his voice. I don't you, know. And you I gotta test him. And you heard it here first. I gotta test him. <laughs> and you heard it here first. I gotta test him. I gotta test him. Like, everyone's heard, yo, just lay low, stay out the way. Mm -hmm. so. Take off was that. Word. A celebrity that laid low and stayed out the way. And, and I feel like it's hard to stay out the way when you're a celebrity, though. Because if, if Migos is at, is at the club, there's no way to just lay low. The eyes is on you. Automatically, that jewelry. True, but I don't mean in everybody's a literal looking at sense. You. I mean like lay low. Also, in the, like, you ever heard Takeoff have a beef? 
with a female or a rapper, a bad mm. breakup, mm. Yeah, no, no. didn't pay somebody, didn't do the feature, no. sent a shitty verse. Mm. Yeah. Just positive. Yeah. I'm a member of a group. Yeah. I add I mean, a lot of value. Not, definitely, especially that last album. He was all yeah. Unk and Neff. He all yeah, nah, Unk and Neff. The, 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 the Migos album. Oh, okay. Oh, no, Unk and Neff. Unk and Neff. That's Culture Three, right? Culture. Yeah, culture okay. Unk and Neff, though, he's really spit. Yeah, like I feel like he really was in his bag. Like you know, I gotta yeah. show people that it's really me. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel bad because you know him and Offset was he even speaking, and then now he Damn. can't even. Yeah. That's unfortunate. He can't even, uh, right. you know, re rehash their beef because they like you know. I mean, I know they didn't grow up together, but still. They, they yeah, family. They're family. They not family. family. Yes. They're not yes, family. They're all family. No, like no, family, they're not. like all in all, they're family. Yeah. I want to like say because no, only Quavo and him is family. Oh, yeah. Okay. But still, yeah. but but they met him like yeah, as like family. a late teenager adult. So they just became in a group, but Quavo is actually the blood one. So Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, like, you know, now that guy I guess you can still call that family if y'all if y'all that close and been together that long. For but sure. it's just sad that, you know, he they they couldn't hash out whatever little business. Beef they had, cause I doubt it was personal. It was business. That's why, no matter what, bro, let your bros know through thick and thin. Right, like, yo, exactly. good luck, much love. Yeah, that's like, cause you never stupid, know. Bro. Imagine that pain of like, God forbid, I don't wake up tomorrow and me and you had an issue. It's like, yo, Chief was cool, bro. Like, yeah. I want y'all to keep the podcast going, but y'all like, damn, bro. Like, little minor shit. Like, it, you ain't steal from me. You ain't like. Do something malicious to my woman or my mother or my family. Come on, bro. We could we could not talk and then rekindle the friendship. Like yeah. imagine now going to a funeral of one of your best friends. Someone you made multi-millions of dollars with, changed music with. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and when he got killed, y'all weren't speaking. Yeah. I know offset is hurting, man. Your my, my condolences, brother. That shit did. Yeah, that yeah. shit hurt me too. I was just like, Me too, I, man. It's like like, Bro, a month ago we was talking about PNB dying on YouTube. Right. Yeah. Then, XXX then, X, X died on YouTube. They to, they, no, they had to take Nipsey. off. That one was scary. They had to tip they that had to um, take off one, yeah. but I didn't watch the video. I didn't watch that watch shit. Man. Man. The take off one? Yeah, they have videos of that. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I see. I'm not watching. I mean, like you don't see him get killed. After the PNB, I'm not I'm not watching this no more. No, I don't watch none of that shit that they be posting on video. That shit is stupid. Like they only do that to us though. Facts. Like Again, and stop like, doing that, yo! And stop doing that too, man. What's wrong with y'all niggas, man? Stop posting yeah, videos of people like dying. What's wrong with Help everybody, them. everybody's want to be the first. Everybody think they a reporter want to be the first. Look, I got for it first. Like, <laughs> yeah, be yo, the you first. filming me die you know for a light. You know what the problem is? Because everybody, you know what it is. People don't understand. Everybody thinks they're a brand or somebody. Now, like, yeah. when you when you got to realize, like. The, everybody, most people when it's average. You're an average person. You're going to be average. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody thinks they're more than that. Everybody thinks they're a brand now, and they want to be the first to break this. And it's like, yo, it's okay to just be a regular human being and to be a regular person. Mm. You're not a brand. Like, stop acting like you got fans. Like, the followers is really getting to a lot of these people heads. That's like, the followers, is. Instagram, Instagram. If you got a blue Twitter, check, you got you're blue somebody. Check. People really feel like they Can't somebody. Can't you buy that shit? And that, well, yeah, on, on Twitter, is, on Twitter you can now. Yeah, with, you with can Elon, buy it. Elon Musk, yeah. you can do it now. On Instagram, you can't. So a blue check, yo, you somebody. You somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. not even before the blue check. Like, if you got a lot of followers, like people right. think they celebrity now. Like, right. it's like, bro, y'all not a brand. You a regular average person. Like, cut it out. Right. It's okay to be a regular person. Everybody want to be something that they not. So you film Instagram. someone dying for yeah, like for on Instagram and, and, and yeah. yeah, yo, we don't have any love or care. Nothing, for each other. nothing. It's the no wild remorse, wild west no out here. It's the wild wild west out here. No I keep empathy. You. It really is crazy. It's no empathy at all, bro. <laughs> for the black community, bro. It's no empathy at all. I bro. feel like we only stick together when other communities are against us. And and, and not only that, is. and I feel like and most of it too be be fake outrage and performative. And you know why else too? I feel like they know what to do. To get us riled up like that, and they do that on purpose every time. And that's why I be like, y'all gotta stop being outraged. As and they, and it be over silly shit. The real shit that really matters is nobody's outraged out, but they get mad over the silly shit. Like I said, like they tried to get outraged over the over the Drake bar on the um off his new album because he said, "Oh, her loss." Yeah, because she got shot, but she still a good star album. Man. That yeah, album was a really album. great album. Yeah. That was a great album. I'm happy that I this brought up because yeah, my second episode here. I had a lot of bad things to say about, about honestly, never mind. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm here to nah, say, Drake, Drake Aubrey, because I'm very proud of you. <laughs> he nah, he didn't have a good. I point. stayed, that's it. yo, yo, Wolf, that, no. that, that, I'm gonna tell you, I stayed up to twelve again. I had hope, 
and I and was I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Now nah, I'm just <laughs> glad he dropped this because, like I said, I like rap with Drake. Because yeah, because. Ever since Scorpion, all of his projects in Scorpion haven't been good to me. Scorpion, Scorpion Certified Love Your Boy, all of them shits was trash. But then when he dropped this, I was like, finally, I got the rapper Drake back. He yeah. giving him the bars. Talking, talking, talking. So his, what's the bar that when caused like, the controversy? About what, Megan it, it, it the fake course. It was the fake controversy. Like people tried to get mad because he's like, bitch lied about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. Like you know when bitch lied about getting they they um ass shots. That's what he was talking about. And then because he said stallion, they were like, oh, you talking about Meg? It's like cut it out. Now you talking about Meg. But we knew, Meg. Yeah. we knew, okay, okay, we knew what it was. Okay. Though. But, but, but he my, knew what it was going to be, though. I we know. What, yeah, of course he knew what it was going to yeah. be. But that's the thing. What that's what rap, the rap, rap is provocative, and you know. Oh and, yeah. But it was a good. It was a good album. It was and, witty. And, and, yeah, it was witty. Some, it's just music. Exactly. But honestly, but, but as a no, but as a man, yeah, you talking about a woman who's still going through that, and people aren't are still not believing her. her. Bro, it was a double bro, entendre. He, it was a bro. double entendre. I know, he but said, he could have he could he could have had a double entendre without using her situation. People are already <laughs> going on use her situation. Cavallo, I'm with you on this one, dog. I'm with you on this. No, no, let me talk. Let me talk. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. If so, if if Megan Thee say Tory Lane shot me, okay, half the world. Don't believe her. Right. Okay. So she's still full away. There's videos of her crying, saying people believe me. I'm telling my story. Everybody making funny, blah, blah. But, but then you as a rapper, out. okay, good. You as a rapper is making a joke and saying, oh, she, girls lying, saying they got shot, but it's still a stallion. Yeah. We know who we talking about. You know exactly who you talking about. We know. About. Not another person. There's no other stallion but these. Bro, did he, listen. Okay, I but can't. that's the purpose of rap. It's funny. Nah. But, nah, but you a male. Nah. You a male. Be witty with another male. Nah. Don't be witty with you the female. He do it to everybody, though. Nah. He don't do it to females. Yeah, he do now, it to males, now, too. People getting shot. That's, he's supposed yeah, yeah. to. All right, then. not females. Who's still yeah. going through it? Then I linked up with the right. ops. I did that right, shit so for Jay Prince. Prince. Right. So if it, all right. All right. So if it come back, right. so if it come back, and how corny is that? Listen, <laughs> how corny is so that? That's come a back, bar. Huh? So if it come back, so now wait, so now wait, so now you come back, you link up with your ops because uh, because the nigga told you so. Bob ties like right, the person right, you respect. The right nigga. The right. Yeah. That's not the right nigga. That's not. How was that the right nigga? Because how did him linking up with Kanye West help him? Nah, what I'm saying is when the right nigga tell you to do, hey, the right nigga, t my boss tell me to do something, I'm doing that shit. Not because my dad, it gotta have, it, what it is. It, 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 yeah, it, got, it, got, it got to have some, something in it for me. Listen. Drake, meeting with Kanye did nothing for Drake. Nigga. It did a lot for Kanye because Kanye's looking crazy in these streets. Yeah. It did a lot for him. Is Kanye yeah. looking crazy in these streets or the media making him look crazy? In nah, he, he know what nice, he's doing. It's a nice he duality he between both. Yeah, he know what he's doing. I'm about to say that. Come on. It's a nice duality. Okay, I'm not going to give it, I'm not going to put it on him. crazy they don't understand it. Yeah, they still told you that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all call yeah. everything crazy when y'all don't understand something. Yeah. And yeah. the media make y'all be able to yo, this person crazy. Like, yeah. man. I'm riding with Yay, though. Period, though. I'm just, that's what I'm, I'm riding with too, but he needs to relax. Straight up. He, he needs no, to relax. That's understandable. But back to what I'm saying. So let, let's say if this come back the other way. Mm -hmm. So now, what about that line? The line is still is still a problem? Even though, let's say, all of it come back, he didn't do it or whatever. So the line is still the problem? Mm -hmm. yes. If he didn't do it, yes, it's, it's still, still because problem, you didn't bro. know. It if rather he did exactly. it or not, Drake do not know if, if it's true or not. Why are you bringing up a female situation that she's... The line was still hard. It was a it's a ball. Limit. It's rap. Chief, I now, had so I, much faith in you. <laughs> the line was hard. What is going, what's going on in this world? The line was hard. Wait, 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 wait. We've deep. had plenty of podcasts where Women we spoke about men off limits. Right. talking about females, and you say that's Yo, B nigga shit. About Thank you. Shots, but so why is that okay? Because he's a rapper and it's witty. It okay. I bitches, said it was a that's, good bar. That's bitches, not okay. Bitches lie about getting ass shots all the time. That wasn't the point of the bar. But exactly. That was the point of the bar. That's not the point that of the bar. The point, the point of the bar is that she lied about getting no. shot. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And that was the bro, point of the bar. Bitch, you lying about getting Don't ass shot. Don't let up on this nigga, bro. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Get ass shot. I'm not. And that's what he was talking about. So what's your right. favorite song off that joint? Ooh. Now, I love singing Drake. Everybody, right? Anybody who knows me, know I love nah, singing I love Drake. Take Care is my favorite album. Nah. And he has a song. Sorry, it's too late. Sorry, too late. Um... That's oh, no, if you're reading this, If you're reading too this, late. it's too late. Oh, I know you're on My favorite that. song with this new album is, oh, Middle of the Ocean. Middle of the Ocean, he's... he's oh, my God. God. And the way Yo. he changed into the Oh, drum. my God. Yo. I love that. But he was rapping. Here's a song that. called, I, I Guess It's Fuck Me. He's, I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah. That song right there, when he's singing... I surprisingly like that a lot, too, bro. Whenever yeah. he sings, it gets to me. I don't know what it is. Your voice just gets to me. This nigga be getting serenaded by Drake. Yo, I feel like every song that he got that singing, What's wrong with this nigga, man? I go through it with a female. How y'all like, feel like 21 held up up against no, he Drake? Did his uh, he did his shit. Yeah, uh, he, did his nah, he was okay. Nah, he was nah, okay. Nah, nah, nah. He did okay 21? for 21. Yeah, nah. 21 held his own in that album. Nah, he like, he's he not known for being thing. lyrical, so he did okay. Nah, 21 did his thing. Drake killed him on every verse. Yeah. I don't think so. What song Drake did not kill him in? 
Mm, I got to look. 21. Was he on tre- no, Can he wasn't on Treacherous Twins, me. right? Treacherous Twins might be one of my favorite tracks. Okay. Of, of for, for a 21 verse? Yeah. Nah, in general. I don't in think general? he was on it. And I'm um, Circle it. Loco. He was on it. He was, on it. He was yeah, right? He, was on he killed Twins. on that. Um, When he was like, I don't even show my ID because I'm because they know that's I'm 21. 21. Nah, 21 like, killed basic. the whole album. 21 killed the whole album. Come nah, on, 21 bro. killed the whole album. Oh, no, Drake, the way he, the, the way the beat switches and the way he goes in and out. Yeah. How about when the shit, when we thought it was Drake? When he because of the title, oh, when it was 3 a.m. and it was 3 a.m. and it was 21. Yeah, oh, nice. You gotta hide the rubber because you know that. Ooh, yeah. did, that was a Drake. We you know cannot, that, right? We cannot doubt Drake's uh, just bro. I didn't doubt greatness it. on this album. No, the way he, he goes, the way the beats change, and he just starts singing. I'm like, oh, he nah, bro. He was in his bag. Uh, yo, in his bag. after listening to that album, I was really thinking like, yo, uh, verse of the year is it Drake on that song or God did Hove? First right. Yeah, and I got mad at the people that got. I did yeah. was not all that. It's Damn, right. Wolf said that shit quick. Nah, it is. It's definitely like middle of the ocean. Over, middle of the, yeah, ocean middle of the ocean is God the crazy. This was overrated, it's bro. It's crazy. Like, middle of the ocean. It's over crazy. Yo, shit, Wolf. Yo, you that sure? God, that yeah. God did verse was yeah. overrated. Yeah. yeah, it's very much overrated. Like, yeah. It was very overrated. DJ Khaled. You need to talk about it's overrated. DJ Khaled albums is overrated. It's overrated. So middle of the ocean verse of the year. Yes. Nah, I gotta look. Nah, my verse of the year is probably something from Stove God Cooks. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yo, Stove God Cooks is that he fire. He not fire. for nothing. We need to t- we need to really talk about what Westside Gun is doing between branching of underground and like main that core mainstream rap and what he's doing like with the products like Kiss the Ring by Rome Streets like yeah. like that's probably one of my favorite products that came out this year. Between what he's doing that Amani Caesar, Benny the Butcher, Comrade the Machine, Stove Car Good. Stove guard cooks like yeah. the amount of artists and the and the music he's been putting out has to be be examined and looked at more because like what he's <laughs> yeah. doing like mm. the way he's curating and executive and producing these oh albums, he's executive it, producing all yeah of them. like he executive that room that kiss the ring album is like by far my favorite album that dropped this year like you went to the show I went to the show yeah nice. I, yeah shout out to Rome Streets I went to the show the kiss the ring tour the first. The first um show was in Brooklyn. Nice. I went. It was dope. Like, know what I mean? Like that album is really good. Like, if you a fan of that nostalgia hip hop and whatever, mm-hmm. it's really good. Like the beats, the lyricism, yeah, everything is like, and it was put together by West Side. And I'm like, yo, his ear for music is great. And then like Hitler with Hermes Ten, he got he got fucking black. He got fucking um black star on the conductor Williams beat, yeah, which is crazy. That, that beat is crazy. Is crazy. Mm-hmm. He got Swiss beats on science class with Raekwon, Buster Rhymes, like, mm. and he's showcasing his artists like Rome Street, Stove Guard Cooks. Yeah, like oh, this, so those are his artists. Yeah, those are like That's artists. Stove Guard, yeah, 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 Stove Guard Cook. Like, so what he's doing right now in hip hop got to be talked about more. It's like yeah. the way he's curating these artists. Rose these Royce albums. Break Lights. That yeah. was on the Stove yeah, Guard album. Guard, that shit yeah, like, was hard. yo, Stove Guard Cooks is really that dude, bro. Like some of the shit he be getting. Yo, you know off who put me on to him? Steven Sp- oh, from All Steven Time from Pod. Time Pod. Yeah. yeah, my homie in Canada mm-hmm. put me on about Stove Guard Cooks. He was but going crazy. It really, it, it really has to be studied what West Side Gun is doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, I, I really appreciate that. But like, that Kiss the Ring album is definitely up there as far as top albums this year. Her I loss, might, you gotta say. I yeah, know it's late, I might, but yeah, I might, I might have. And to large that. credit to Twenty One too, yeah, though. That I might, for me personally, I might have to put um, what else? Cheat codes by Black Thor and Danger Mouse up there. Like mm. that's yeah, another yeah, great that's one. Your album. That's another good one. Yeah. yeah. But like, like I said, like I said, what West Side Gun is doing, man. Like we really have to examine that and like give him his props. Like what he's doing. Like he's giving you so much quality that's a artists. Fact. It's a fact. And quality music, and it's not, and it's, <clears> and it's, and the way the state of rap is going right now, like. It's being saturated, like everything is just coming out so much, and it's like a lot of shit don't really be hitting or sticking. Like I feel that. like twenty twenty three, more of that type of music is gonna be on the rise, and, and drill is gonna slowly like yeah, fade, and which is good, you know? like because that's not our sound, New York drill. Like drill yeah. is not our, like so. What he's doing, like I like that he's doing that. So like, but shout out to West Side Gun though. Like Hitler with Hermes Ten is definitely a great project too. Nah, like facts. just to, just to, just to have ten projects of anything, I think people don't realize like Longevity. how hard that is. Like yeah, nah, that is like. To be on number ten of that part of 10. that, and but that's just one of his series because then he got Fly Guard series, he got albums on top of that. So it's like they drop what, music every month. Yeah, so like what they're doing is un, like a run that you got to really respect <clears throat> and pay attention to. And I feel like it's not getting enough respect, and it should be. But nah, yeah, absolutely, like, absolutely. Just that name alone is hard, like because that's his clip on Devil Wears Prada, Hitler Wear Hermes. I was like, yo, mm. when I heard the name, I'm like, yo, this shit is so hard, like Hitler Wear Hermes. And for part ten, he had to change it because of yeah, the backlash yeah. of everything so going on in the world. Ten, 
But yeah, but shout you, out to Rome Sheets, though, man. Kiss the Ring is definitely one of my favorite. Nah, albums. it's fire. But <laughs> back to 21, right? <laughs> like, I think that him, if he wasn't on the album, it would still, still be a great album. album. 100%. It'll still, yeah. still be a good album. It'll still be a good album. He didn't make a break. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't make a break the album. And y'all don't like, give 21 enough. No, no oh, he was okay. But no, Drake this is the same and his that says Nas is irrelevant. Yeah. But you know what? I don't Drake, know, I, okay, sometimes he be bugging. Nah, but listen. You Wait, yeah, speak, let's context. speak about that. Let's speak about that. Nas is irrelevant. Did he nah, mean right now his that's music is irrelevant? Like, or did he mean him as an artist is irrelevant? But you got to understand. But see, that's that's the thing. The context, like, I guess he was saying to this generation, but it's hard to say that maybe... I mean, it could be yes and no. Maybe the young kids is not checking for him. They're Great. Not. They're That's, probably not. They're yeah, they're probably, probably not. Yeah. Of course. But to say he's irrelevant is not true because he's still selling out Drop shows. Three, King Disease 3 is on yeah. part three did, right Wait, now. did he just get nominated for a Grammy? For that? Another one? The, the, the last one. Yeah, the oh, last yeah, one King Disease. Nominated. He won a Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah he won. So it's like, you know. Oh, so he won. Yeah. Relevancy is, it was, is I, I feel like it's subjective. Subjective when you talk it is. about it. So, it is. You know, and he should be able to have his opinion like we spoke about yeah, earlier. He should be able to have his opinion. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't be canceling like, him because he felt like. I'm Kodak now. We got beef with Yak. It's like, bro. He could have his opinion. He feel like Nas is irrelevant. Nas, is, but like you do have to watch your mouth when you're talking about the OGs. Yeah, though. you could have used another term. I mean, but also talk like, about oh, you know, Billboard. But you know, also, I feel like we the only people in our culture that disrespect our legends. Like other mm -hmm. other cultures, like when music wise, mm -hmm. like that's not mm -hmm. disrespectful. Yo, not, no, no, I'm gonna tell you why Snap. I say that. That's listen not disrespectful. Telling, no, listen, what I'm saying like we be quick to cancel off our our legends because but they rock and roll. Old, but rock like, and roll niggas be 80 still performing touring, like in, in, in pack shows. We don't respect our elders. That's not true. Old, nah, that's not true. Do you know how big Elvis is? And it was in his career when he was on drugs and looking fat on stage. They was talking about that's him. And he's Elvis. That's El but Elvis wasn't shit. He was man. Just, who you who mean? was Elvis? Elvis. Was okay. Shit. Anyways, uh, I feel like he should have the same. Rather he's a I legend can't or say not, that he shouldn't. It shouldn't matter if he's a legend or not. If I feel like you not hitting no more, and, I, and I'm that dude. He should have that. He should. He should be able to say that. He's able to feel that. But way. how am I not hitting if I just dropped the third not part chapter to a uh, King Disease? And everybody saying like, this is a great album. King and I'm rapping my. Ass, exactly. I'm rapping at the highest and level. Yeah, but for thirty people, years. Yeah. But, but remember where he's from. Him and Rand. Maybe, maybe when people. Maybe Ransom. where he's from. People not listening to that. That's another thing. Again, you know what? That ATL. Is, you know, that's what not. That's not hitting ATL. Let's be honest. Right. But that's that's what people fail to realize. Rap is regional. People forget that at the end of the day, rap is regional. So he maybe he's for his region. That's because it's not hitting ATL. Don't mean it's not hitting. And that's what people fail to realize. Like rap is regional. So people be coming with like if you're not on Billboard, you're irrelevant. Exactly. And and that's the fucked up shit about it. Like since when is Billboard the standard or the Grammys the standard for music? Yeah. Rap is regional. It might not be hitting. Then it's not hitting. Grammys, Grammys, But Nas Grammys. just don't do hip hop like Twenty One. Seconds. Exactly, and that's yeah. what it is. They do it different. Like Nas and is Nas not is outside. Still... Like right. Twenty One, not gonna really yeah. see Nas. Nas was always. never outside. Nah, he was outside he was, in a New York kind of way. But yeah, I mean, like, in New York, as far as like yeah. what rappers do, like going to festivals, though. hitting certain places, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. you're not going. You're gonna run into niggas like you're gonna run into a nigga like Vince Staples, exactly. a nigga like uh, Kodak. You gonna run into some other just peers, yeah. But not Nas. Trippy Red, like a millionaire, bro. Exactly. Why does he do what Hov would do? Yeah, exactly. You know, Nas not going to no. And he's festival. still spitting at the highest level that you could do yeah, it. At this age. Him and Ransom. Like, as much as we talk about Nas, like, I was listening to Ransom the other day. I'd be like, yo, we've been listening to Ransom for, like, almost the same Bro, amount of time, too. I've like, been listening to nigga, Ransom since MySpace. That's what I'm saying. Like, and Ransom <laughs> been... And, 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 no, I feel MySpace. mad young when you say yo, that. Duffel bag Ram. Bro. Yo. And he Come still, up, DVD. And he still be spitting at a, such a high level he's that incredible. make these young kids... Feel embarrassed, and that and that goes to show, like, because everybody want to be like, oh, I don't write my rhymes and do what it is. Nah, write your rhymes out, bro. Ransom is help. incredible. Like, Ransom is still incredible, spitting at such a high level. Yes, like, of course, fan base. As much bro. as we talk about Nas being able to be at his age and do it at a high level, like Ransom is on that. On but a lot of people too. say that that bars is, is not is not as important as it was. It's coming uh, back. A, 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 a lot of rappers important. is like, oh, like my stuff is nah, behind the club. Bars, I could be saying nothing. Who cares? I can have I a chorus that club, makes the this club. song go number but one. Again, it's just a Bro. music to Trap's point. It's subjective, right? Yeah, Maybe club don't Ransom get feels fulfilled with his core exactly. following, knowing I'm one of the nicest exactly. rappers alive. I, all my bills are paid, Word. and I go down the as the, mo the one person that ain't go commercial or pop. If you say like get a deal. But I'm good. Like exactly. everyone knows, everybody Rand. knows Ransom. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want to rap with Ransom. You don't. You don't. That's how many did that that album with Ron Sheets. That was a testament to Ron Sheets. Absolutely. Because like, Seven so Deadly people, Sins. Nobody's nobody's getting on that. Crazy like, album with Ransom. Come on. Oh, you you did a feature on that, right? Or you no, was a duo. That, they did a whole album together. You didn't know that? That nah. came out last year. Yeah. Oh, I got. Hey, it. Oh, you got to get that. Yeah, Rome Sheets and Ransom. Like, bro, there's going. Ransom was bodying. Ransom is bodying him. I know he was. I know he was. Ransom respectfully. 
Yeah, I'm, yo, Rand, man, that. pull up. Pull up that. on us. You said something about the Grammys? Go ahead. Yeah, I just, I'm very disappointed with the Grammys, man. Oh what happened now? So everybody knows. Oh, that your I'm girl. A, uh, oh, here he go. Oh, Everyone shit. knows. Here he go. He about to get in his rant mode about his girl, Nikki. <laughs> Everyone knows. You already know. How I feel. About Onika Tanya Mariah. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, <laughs> nigga said the government. government off. Nigga said the yeah. government. God. Everyone knows. Damn. Everyone knows how I feel about my queen, right? Mm -hmm. It's no way. It's no way that my girl can have two number ones, <laughs> one number two, and get nominated for nothing. You know how it is. You Has she nominated. ever been nominated for a she's Grammy? She's been nominated, but she's one. But now one. she's blackballed by the guy that, the, like, the, the top exec in the Grammys. He's blackballed by that. And the fact that they're blatantly doing it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now, I ain't going front. It is crazy to me. Glorilla, she fired, but she got nominated for a Grammy. The, Bro, Lotto. Got Lotto. <laughs> like, Glorilla. Out, yeah, it was the song. Like, she got to relax. The song been out for a few Two months. months. Like, relax. Like, Bro, she's it. 60 days in. And she already nominated for, <laughs> for a Grammy. Yo, my girl crazy. has a song that's in the, that's been in the top 10 for three months that's straight. That's what I'm saying. It hasn't left. To, like, super, at, yeah, currently. Super girl, right? And they even moved it to pop, which I disagree it's not pop, with. It's rap. And pop. you were not even nominated for a pop. How is this possible? I feel like because they blackball her, oh, they're going to give a Grammy to Cardi, but they already gave it to Cardi. Yeah. They're, they're going to give a Grammy to Lotto. They're going to give a Grammy Cardi to Cardi deserved it. Her album? Not over Drake's and, album. Invasion of Pride? Not over Drake's album. Bro, Drake's album so great. more. If it's Cardi. Wait, <laughs> well, no. wait, hold up. No, no. Cardi don't do it. Don't do it. Re Cardi put Bad Bunny in our, on the map I don't on that album. That. That's not why she won it, but she won an album for rap, not for Hispanic. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying in general, like <laughs> over over Astro World, over Drake. That album was better. What than album Drake was up? That's there. over God's Scorpion. Plan. That's Scorpion. With God's Plan. Fucking Scorpion. No, that's the other <laughs> like, one. The one. That's the other one. Which that's, one um, was up there? But nice for what? And Scorp um, Nice for what? And God's Plan. He had like four number ones. So if is, is the Grammys going by what's on Billboard? Is, are they going by sales? Are they going by number ones? Because after the case, Drake should have won that award. Cardi B did not sell more than anybody. Cardi B did not have Cardi, more than one. Cardi more B's ones. impact that year, bro. bro. Let me tell you, Drake's Cardi, impact look, is this over, is the overpowers she anything. Against, she went against Victory Lap, Swimming by Mac Miller, Astro World, and Daytona. And that was the best rap album to you out of those choices. Over Victory, over Victory, Victory Lap? Over Yeah, Man Ray. Oh, okay. Over, 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 oh, okay. Daytona? No, it wasn't. Over, it over wasn't. Astro World? It wasn't. Bro, Astro World was probably the biggest. And but you mean to tell me, based on the privacy one? The impact. What impact does she have? What impact? Cardi had the world on who? Chokehold. On who? Again, on City that, Girls. Again, that's what I'm saying. What the? Who impact <laughs> on who? Okay, but if that's the case, right? That's Nicki Minaj has an impact on every every single girl that's out right now, bro. So if Cardi B can have one for her impact, where's Nicki Minaj? Um, Grammy, Grammy for her impact on on all the people. <laughs> Yo, stop You're playing with my about, girl. Uh, what are we talking about? Stop that's playing with. Stop playing with Onika Tanya Mirage. Like, like so who should have won that year? Daytona. Either, either or Victory Lap. Or Victory Lap. Or, Victory Lap. or even Astro World, bro. Astro World. Astro was big. What, what was that song with Drake that you cannot stop hearing anywhere? Um, you um, cannot stop. When it, um, you know what? Like, um, nah, uh, I know what you're talking um, about. Um, something Mode. Sickle yeah, Mode. Sickle, sickle, sickle Mode. You can't go nowhere without hearing that. Sickle yeah, Mode. Yeah, you yeah. mean to tell me that was that? And that was better than I like it like that. What the? What? Who's doing this in the club? What? You couldn't go nowhere without hearing that's Sicko Cardi mode. B Shade. I think that's your Nicki bias on Cardi B, though. I don't that's care. That's Cardi no, B Not you, Trap Cavallo. But that album should have won the best rap album. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. You I, biased it, for Nicki. No, no, for, no, for no, no, no. I'm not biased. It's common sense. It there would be no sense. females without her. Uh, At all. Bro, Lil, without Nicki, Lil' Kim. Nicki Let's Minaj Let's Lil Kim been gone for like 20 bro. years. I'm talking about uh, from Nicki Minaj on. She, invited she was out by herself with, on, on records with dudes, bro. killing them. Facts. Cardi B's not doing that. You know what else is funny too? People forget... Nikki came in that time when you still had to still buy CDs and she was selling records. Yeah. She didn't come in when you could just scream. Yeah. Like that's why when an artist tried to tell, I don't care about your screaming records. Do niggas had to, Nikki did it when you still had to go and buy CDs on the store. Five hundred copies first week. Yeah, like like what are we talking and about? Like she did that. I'm happy you said that because her. Like to put those who else did like, it? Oh, I streamed this. And, like who was did? How it? many of those are bots? Her and another like, rapper the is the one that went to court. To even fight for um, artists to even get money for, for streaming. streaming. So exactly. if it wasn't for her, wasn't these for her. artists wouldn't be going artists number one. You'd be getting, yeah, like, yeah, oh, Nika. Thing. I got you. Like, come on, <laughs> I would never let anybody play you like that. I, like, this is crazy. They playing, you got, they playing in her face at this point. Not, and I don't they like are, that. They are. And I don't That's like insulting. that. insulting. Check I don't it out. That. Why is it, right? You right, right? You you dropped what the happened? mic, right? What happened why, to protect black women? What happened to that? We can protect Meg. What happened to it with the Drake? Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> what? Thank you. What? He said, it's a good line. It's a good line, though. Oh, Cavallo cooked it was a good line. Oh. It was a good line. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. My girl should have been got a Grammy. All right, cool. But you see all that passion? She should have a Grammy. You won. I'm not debating you. You won the debate. She should have a Grammy. Why is everyone in the uproar about the Grammys? Why do the Grammys awards hold such a... I don't don't think think that's the reason. I think it's that they're blatantly blackballing in our face and no one is doing anything. Nah, you know what it is? She has artists like Drake who is stepped up and said something. And his last last time he won an award and they cut his mic off. He spoke up. About them blackballing, how how they make it seem like. So let's stop supporting it. But they've been. But no one is doing that. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's the funny. The same argument been going on forever. Like niggas been saying they don't do this for the. So it's like, why are we still holding them to the standard? That's our problem. That's why I said like people being outraged is so funny to me. It's like, why y'all still holding them as a standard? Like just forget about it. Like Summer Walker should definitely be nominated in in R and B. She's not nominated. That's another snub. Ari Lennox definitely. Yeah, Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox, bro. And then like this 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 rap category that they got now is is wrong. Who, who the Who's nominees? nominated? Yeah, like, who the nominees? Bro, they, got Jack Harlow. they have Jack Harlow. He gonna win. Like, he should be in pop. Jack Harlow's the white yeah, Drake. He should be in pop. He should be in pop. Oh, God. Now, first he class? Rap, he can rap, though. He can rap, though. But his biggest song is first class was a, a Fergie sample. That's pop. So for rap album, for Grammy for this year, they got God Did, DJ Khaled, I Never Liked You, Future, It's Almost Dry, Pusha T, okay. Come Home With Me, The Kids, I mean, Come Home, The Kids Miss You, Jack Harlow. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Kendrick Lamar. Mr. Morale. Kendrick Lamar, Sister Stay. Daytona could stay. Yeah. I mean, it's not, almost, no, nah. it's almost. Them the only two. I mean, almost job. Them the only two. God did is not Grammy worthy, yeah, but why. you know, and, he has a machine behind him. I never him. liked you by Future. That song with Tim's is mad. You, you, you that song, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's it can be nominated, good, but it's not going to win. It's some other good songs, it's it's other good songs but... Yeah, am I fucked that? up to think that those ra- albums are trash? Yeah, no. no, I feel the same I way. agree with you. I agree with you. Well, I, I don't feel like they I should mean, be God bad, did, right? God did was, was the verse of the year until Drake dropped. Come on, let's not do that. No, it was it's, verse it's of the only year. a verse of the year because Jay Z doesn't rap. It's when he come out, it's big. Vengeance. Thank you. Niggas be on hold meat too much. Like, Thank I you. It. It's only because of Jay Z. His last few verses been the same shit. I'm a billionaire. I used to sell drugs. Uh, like, uh, we get it, ho. Nah, God did it with scriptures, God bro. Did. That was scriptures. Oh okay, that's one song. It that's was. one Little song. Wayne verse, Little Wayne verse is better, in my opinion, on that song. Oh, yes. Whoa. Yes. 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 Little Wayne verse was better. Lyrically, yes, it was. Little Wayne verse was better. On that song? I got to put the camera angle on y'all. Hold Little on. Wayne verse. Yes, yes. Look, Dwayne yeah, Carter. That whole yes. verse is over. Yo, y'all be overrating Hove a lot. Yo, why was like it better? Why was it better? He's overrated. He's overrated. But that, that verse is overrated. Who overrated? That verse? That verse. His last three verses? His last three verses kind of stuff overrated, hey, bro. I want to let y'all know, y'all walking in the scary territory. Listen, right I now. love Hov. <laughs> let me walk. Let me walk. I'm a walk. Let me walk. I'm a big stepper. Like my man, um, That's Rome a fact. I was like, Wayne's verse better than Hov's verse what he's saying, his, 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 his. His cadence is high. Hov is spitting mad slow. Come on. His nigga had auto tune all over his voice. Son. Not only, not on, only that, Jay Z had more time on the song to spit too. So he that's did. another advantage he to did. what did he time. say? He did, though. Exactly. Whose he, verse was more impactful? What's your best line? What's your favorite line from Jay Z verse? Nigga, somehow they try to somehow my outfox every hole they try to block me in. Bro, don't get me started. I know what the fuck does that mean. I know too. What does that mean? I ain't saying right. I ain't saying right. What does that mean? I ain't saying right, but it went hard though. It did not. It did not. What's your favorite line? I mean, there's so many, but like back and forth on the turnpike like, like, really geez. took a toll on him. Back and forth on the turnpike really took a toll on him. I get it. Like, like nah, that was nah, okay. Nah, that's nah, nah, minor. That was okay. Minor, bro. That was okay. God's that's minor. Verse of, verse of the year. Verse of the year. Verse of the year. Bro, that was a minor. Yo, that's bro, the, that was the top. Yo, bro, I'm about to find a Stove God Cooks verse. He got I'm a verse to, of the year. Nah, yo, we, we all looking up lyrics. Yeah, yo, I'm about to find a Stove God Cooks verse. Let me find a Nikki verse. I'm about to find a Stove God Let me talk about verses. Let me talk about some Onika. That nigga Stove God. Cook said, "My nigga bought the work back. So work, <laughs> bought the work back on his knees. Had it wrapped around the legs like LeBron ice in his knees. What nigga nicer than me?" Yo, nah, that, I was like, yo, how you say it's that? It's a bar. It's yo, not- and the toll says the bar too. Bro, it was it like, verse of the year? That, that, dude, that's so- what I said. It was one of my favorites that I can remember. It was too much. You sound like LeBron. My only goal like, is he, <laughs> you be cat. You sound like LeBron when he be lying. Like yo, but yo. So what's your favorite line from the Godfather? Yo, man, it was. It's yo, just so many. It's so remember, many to remember. Man. Nigga said yo. LeBron is the cap king. Yo, he yo. is the cap king. Yo. That nigga be lying about stupid. Yo, you know what I'm The practice with yo, a book. Do you know what get me mad about LeBron? It's just the shit that he be lying about. Like you don't gotta lie about that. Like nigga had the Malcolm X book. Well, you know, I just started reading it, and it's just 
because um, Taylor, <laughs> somebody asked him, like, so but what did Alex they think Haley? about, yeah, about what you thought about the book? He's like, oh, well, I just started reading it not too long ago. But every time they show a picture of him, he always on the first page. <laughs> every time there's a picture of him with the book, it's like, damn, they just called LeBron the, the Cap King. Look. That's crazy. No comment on that one. But it's hard being the face of the league, that bro. One, that one, that, that song, Listen, bro, rap though, it could be nominated for best rap song, but his album should not yeah, be nominated album, for best yeah, album. album. Yeah, yeah that album. Because what else is on DJ there? DJ Khaled don't make good albums no more, man. All of his albums just be, I'm going to get the best, a bunch of people. The yeah. same people. The same people. Because always Future, there's always little Baby, there's always Drake. Every yeah, album. The songs don't even be that hitting, man. I'm over it. Yo, man, it's all about West Side Gun, man. Griselda, man. That's what it's about. Shout out to that. I like the direction New York is going of right course, now. Of course, I like that. That's I love cool. it. I need more though. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it has to. It needs to go further for me because I, I love New York, New York um, '90s rap music. And from what we had then, but you don't listen to Rome Streets and them. That's '90s kind of. I, mean, I, I got, I gotta get into it, but I, I don't think it, that. Oh, how you not? It's up there. I, we can't compare it. Yet, is what I'm saying. This beat goes stupid. I like that. It's in Chicago. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. You hear this beat though? How you in the hood with your shoes and no red cheeks? Come on, Westside Gun. His ear for beats is crazy. Nah, nah, he fire, but his voice. Where's he from? His voice. It's his voice, cause you know what I mean. I'm you know what he, he sound like. His, That's his, his like, flow wasn't giving New York vibes to me, but. Nah, it will, come on. You're eight Who's bars. Who's that with the fatty? You're eight bars, bro. I'm just saying the way he's. I need. I need you to go hard, like. Nah, like I mean, we need. We need hard music. Like, if 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 I named this five rappers from New York and how they rap compared to that, you go. You gonna see the difference, like the nah, anger, yeah. like DMX, like you. You know, Jada Kiss, like, come on, Jay Z back in the day, hear, Biggie, never like. Never hear whack verse from Jada Kiss. Ever. Nah, Jadakiss never, Jada Kiss never had a whack verse ever. in his life. He's, had a whack he's verse. still, he's still <laughs> like, keeping up with still, the, that's what he's I'm still saying. on songs with the new people and still and be still, killing that's up. That's what I'm saying. You know how hard that is? That's what I'm saying. You know how hard that is? 30 years to never, never have a bad never verse. Never have a bad verse. You never heard a bad verse from Jadakiss. 30 years. I feel like he's underrated. I like this conversation. I feel like he's underrated. All right, so who else in your opinion never had a bad verse ever? So far, only Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. No so rapper far. has. All rappers got bad verses. Nah, nah Jada Kiss never rappers. had a bad, bad Jada Kiss verse. Never had a bad verse. I, I damn near. If I think real hard, I can find Jada Kiss. Could, I feel yeah, like you can't find right, any right. feature or nah. anything with Jada Kiss. Bro, I swear to God, if like I think hard enough, <laughs> I can't remember the song. But if I think hard enough, bro, you're gonna be like, all right. Okay, but well, right, no, it's right. probably not bad, but it's probably not his best. But I feel like Jada Kiss and DMX. If DMX, when DMX is in a song, I feel like he goes hard every time. I never, I never heard a whack DMX, DMX verse. Like skip the DMX part. I never, never had a word. There's not a rapper whack Jada Kiss verse. Never, never, never. I never heard a whack Jada Kiss verse. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't listening to me, bro. Y'all ain't listening. I'm listening. What? When I say whack, I mean Texas. You can't say you can't give you can't give stripes yet. He's from Texas. Come on. You say he's from New York. Nah, he's from Texas. Because him saying that is crazy. When I when I say like a whack verse, like borderline, you can't listen to it. Like never, yeah, it's never. But like that's never trash. Verse, like, like where I turned off Jada. I never skipped the Jada Kiss verse. Well, there's yeah. not a lot of rappers in general that got a verse that's so bad that you just got. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, it is. Yes, like, it maybe is. you don't like it's the plenty. song, but the but the verse though. Nah, nah it's the, the verse. Thing, yeah, I be like, uh, the song you like Lil B or some this, shit. I want this we verse from the album. Like, yeah, nah. <laughs> it's some verses from Drake. I was like, I didn't. I wasn't feeling that. that's what I'm saying. Like all all the greatest rappers got like. Okay, but, but not, it's like, but not okay. Jada Kiss though. Well, Jada Kiss. Nah, Bob, right. we didn't say okay. His cool I mean, shots like not good. Yeah, yeah not good. Like okay. not yeah, good I at all. Heard, yeah. I guess because in hip hop, when you say like not good, that's kind of like your shit trash. Like when trash. Okay, be like, okay. he nah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't mean like that. I yeah. mean like I if, if 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 I skip it, it's okay. Like like DMX verses. Whenever there's a song with DMX on it, I make sure I listen to his part. Yeah. Jada Kiss is saying, I make sure I listen to this part. For sure. It's listen. not it's not a song that I'm like, if I didn't hear it, or I can skip it to the next song. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely it. never skipping for that. I hear that shit. So never, that's because it's good. If it's whack, I'm like, oh, it's okay. I didn't when, hear that part. Well, I don't know if it's good yet. I know the artist is good, though. They're like The artist got a good reputation. So it's like, okay, I'll check Jada it out. Jada Kiss always got a good reputation. Because it's a Rick Ross versus, I'm like, mm, mm. overrated. Yeah, all his verses don't hit. Not all of them. Exactly. <laughs> But Jada Kiss. But Jada Kiss. That's, that's my point. Rick See, Rick Ross Rick got a good ear for Wait beats. Wait till I find this fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick Ross okay. makes great albums. Yeah, I don't. Phenomenal I don't, albums. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't, last, I don't. I don't. The last Rick Ross album that I enjoyed really was probably. Trap. Be careful. I don't Rather know. you no, than me, before fire. That. No, Rich before that. <laughs> no, before that. What was the one? <laughs> Mastermind. With Tears of Joy. Mastermind. No, with Tears of Joy on there, all of that. I just wanted me. That was Mastermind. No, what's up with him and, no, no. and Jay-Z? With the, with the Timbaland no, beat. No, hold on. The last Three Kings? 
The last that Rick Ross album bro. that I enjoyed. No, oh, Freemason. No. Teflon Dawn. That was the last record. Yeah, that's that was what, 2010. It's amazing that yeah, I made it through the maze that I yeah, was in. Yeah, yeah. Like, Free Mason, on, yeah. Free Mason, like, Tears of Joy. Free Mason. Maybach Music 3. Maybach Music 3 is, is fine. Yeah. But it's, it's fine not for him. I then after that, <laughs> then, he had, then he had God Forgives I Don't, Mastermind, Hood Billionaire, Black Market, Port of Miami 2. After that, it was slow for Hood me. Hood Billionaire record. was fire. After that, now, Three Kings is on God Forgive I Don't. Oh, okay. And that song is fine. With Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, and Rick Ross. That Rick song Kings. is good. Rick Ross made... He, I don't he think he good. ever had a bad album. Mm -hmm. Do you think yeah. he can make a good album with just him? No features. He need to stop doing features. <laughs> I feel like his best stuff is with features. I don't like... I would never listen to just a full Rick Ross album, just him. I would wow. never in my but life. But how many would. artists could put out an album with just them? A lot. And you enjoy it? A lot. Like Pusha T? I mean, that's seven songs. Yeah. If he did twelve, I listen to it. Like Rick Ross got seven songs by himself on on um, God forgives and I right. don't, and it's amazing. Mm. Like it's impossible to keep somebody's attention for fifty minutes with just yourself. You know what I mean? After a while, like it's not impossible because yeah. Get Richard Die Trying with fifty. Like a majority of that was just him. him towards the end. And that's a great album. You got 21 questions. You got, you're not like me. You get shot and you run the cops. You're not like. Something with him and Eminem. Yeah, putting patiently with him. Like, you know what I mean? It was the majority. A lot, that, a lot of that 50 shit didn't age well. What you mean? What? Like, what you mean? It didn't age well. That, what? Yeah. Bro, 21 do? questions? 21 questions is my. Bro, what? that's on my never skip playlist. Yeah, that's Yo, what, what are you talking skip. about? Twenty one questions, bro. A lot of many men. Go Look, back. Recently added. But expl <laughs> explain what you're saying. Yeah, like, trap. Please like, explain what you're saying. I gotta hear this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't age well. Yo, Wolf. If I was to play, if I was to play, give Richard Dodd trying like we'll remember it for what it did during that time. But like it won't hit. It's not. I don't know. So what album aged well from that time to you? Oh four. Oh three. Tm one on one. Yeah, Jeezy, you that. yeah, you can still listen to that. I still listen. Carter to that. three. Age well more to, for you than the Carter. Carter three. Right? Carter three. I think. Carter, Carter, three. Carter, Carter three. three. Carter three. Even the first Carter. The first Carter is really underrated. That's that go from DJ. The, go. Yeah. DJ. The first yeah, Carter yeah. is probably my favorite Carter from the whole Carter series. Yeah. He was really. Spent Carter three is that. a little. I got a lot of pop is very Carter, overrated. The first Carter. <laughs> yeah. That was the most overrated song I ever heard in my life. Pop with Static Major. Yeah. Yo. They said he was the best rapper at the time, and I don't know what the hell he was saying on that verse. Yeah, I thought he was the best rapper. Yo, alive. Trap, I can't believe you said Get Rich or Die Trying didn't age well. Yeah, I can't believe that either. It was a good... The, I mean, The not, Massacre, not, not okay. That. The ma yeah, The not Massacre, okay. Fist, a lot of... I was listening to a lot of... Like, his old mixtape stuff I was listening to, like, I'm like, all right, that shit's still bang. But, like, I don't really find... I'm like... You know what I think it is? <laughs> Trap... Rome Street, <laughs> Rome Street, yeah, 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 Zelda. Yeah, yeah. They got trapped in a choke. They, they, choke right they got bars. Fifty didn't have that, bars, know, and he didn't have bars. But back his storytelling, his storytelling was good. But I'm just saying, today, by you see, he can't even make like music today. Who, bro? You don't listen to the Raising Canaan Ra intro? I have that on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hustler. I know heartbreak. Yeah, that's set back, a hit. bitch. If I cap out, it's all to get <laughs> back. I've been through the ups and downs, you know. I oh, get cool. around because of me. It's all about it again. Yeah, if I ain't on, the coke man yeah. or the dope man, I know for sure, man. Oh, nah, I gotta nah. take it. No need to say shit, bro. I got, come on, stop playing. Come with on, what fifty. Yo, you say you know, make yeah, money, yeah, make make I like make money. If shit hit the fan, we'll take money. It's outside. I'm just like crazy. That shit is that shit. Y'all like that shit. That's a fire. Yo, stop. Yo, Wolf, yeah. put that shit on the speakers. <laughs> put that shit on the speakers. Bro, you heard that before, right? The Raising Kane yeah, intro. So you, don't like it. It. you wasn't bumping? No, it's cool. First of the beat, nah, they give me like, give me like, like um, the beat is like Mary Jane, Jane, right? Buffalo. Nah, right, right. New York. <laughs> yeah, it's about New Buffalo. New first of the, is first of the out. The I'm beat, from New York. First of all, the beat itself gives you old school vibes. Like that, I understand like that. Mary that. It, it, it was an old school beat. All he did was flip it. I understand that. Man. And that's Come great. On. Come on. Man. So you won't listen to Get Rich and Die Trying? Today, I probably won't. Damn. Not the, one song? I don't listen to it today. It's not... If it come on, I remember. Bro, you know, bad move. Like, you don't listen to many men. No, in a bad move. Look at that. He's a bad move. Look at that. You in a bad move. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to many men. Yeah, like uh, when, you, when you feel like your back is I'll against listen, the wall. I listen to Mob Deep for that. Shook ones. Yeah, I eat these shook ones or hell on earth. Today's the anniversary of that. Album. Oh Super shit! Yeah. Salute, Shout salute. Out yeah. Shout out to P, man. R.I.P. Rest in peace, brother. I still listen to that. I still listen to Hell on Earth or Infamous, and that came out in '96. Like, and I still play that today. Nah. Nah, so it's like it all depends. I don't on know his choice. Like, his choice is just making me a little. I got I got to scoot to this side of the couch because you, you wasn't there when Mom Deep was out. You wasn't there. 
Oh, because you're so much older than me. I'm not that so much older. I'm just saying. Now, you are young, though, Cavallo. Stop. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. It's right. Four years in music is a long time. It's not. We still listen to the same music. Stop saying that. We talked about this last time we was doing this. No, first of all, I have to understand, right? My mom and my uncle, I have five uncles, right? They 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 are just like how y'all are about rap yeah. all day. The, it plays since birth. <laughs> I listen to the same shit y'all listen to. <laughs> Whether I wanted to or not, it was playing yeah. in the house. So shook ones and all, I hear it all the time. You hear it, but you do know it. I know <laughs> it. Like, stop playing with me. Nah, you can hear something, but you do you know, know give, it. Do you know Give It Without Trying? Yeah, I do know Give It Without Okay. I through that. I, nigga, I, had that, I bought that CD three times, nigga, because I bought it, lost it, bought it again, let somebody hold it, then bought it again, nigga. Uh -huh. Everybody in my family had that album. Like, you had the G over, Unit nigga. T from the Africans? Nigga, I had all Yo, that, I had the G Unit spinning watch. What are you Bro, talking about? Okay. In school. All right, all right. The G Unit sneakers with the little spit. Back for Mercy? Come on, stop playing with me. Back for Mercy. I was yeah. there for that, G yeah. I lived through that. Straight out of Cash Real is underrated. Young Come Buck on, did bro. his thing with straight out of Cash Real. about that, bro. That G Unit era was crazy. Bro. It was crazy. It was Shout out to Murder Inc. too. And Murder Inc. <laughs> Murder Inc. was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to get tight. You're not talking about Murder Inc. I knew you were going to get tight. I had to say that. I just had to say that. I had to say that. I had to say that for him. Every time you bring up G, you got to bring up Murder You don't got to do that. That's not like when niggas bring up Nas, niggas always got to bring up Jay-Z. Y'all don't have to do that. Look, shout out to Ashanti. Shout out to Ja Rule. Every time Nas comes Murder Inc. It's always some dickhead on Twitter. Got to bring up Jay. Like, y'all don't have to bring them up all the time with each other. I wanted to. Let them. Shout out to Murder Inc. Damn. Shout out to Charlie Baltimore. Shout out to Vita. Who the other ones? You said it was whack. Black Tie. I don't like to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to all of them. <laughs> it's murder. It's murder. Yo, crazy. Yo, what's wrong with these? Things, yo, yo, bro. Shout crazy. out to everybody, yo. But yo, man. Everybody. So we um freaking open discussion. Open discussion before we head out, man. Open discussion that was a before good we head out. Hip hop, though. That was. It's, yo, it's we can continue of, the hip hop. Yo, it's a lot of good music though that came out. Like as far yeah, as let's music, do. Let's go. Nah, nah. So her no, before we go to open discussion, I'm just saying like music. It's been a good space. Like, if you actually Absolutely. looking for it, like, I hear when people complain and be like, yo, I need more of this and more of Like, it's out there if you look for it. Like, people keep, look, um, what you call it, banking on mainstream and the club to help them find, like, they got to understand the radio don't do that no more. They're not breaking new artists. They're not giving Yeah, they really not. Funk like, Flex trying. Yeah, Funk Flex is trying, but like, if you- I feel like you're doing like New York rap. Yeah, yeah, but you should though. We from New York. Like, fuck that. We need to- Yo, when nah, I'm tired of hearing New York radio, all I hear is other artists other from artists? everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 we, yeah. we need to be, we need to have Agreed. more of our artists on our stations. Agreed. And you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I'm actually have like, to send me his playlist, like when I go to the gym. Like, I feel I'll like, Rome I feel streets. like, <laughs> you said I'll pass. Cause you listen, all you listen to do is old 90s hip hop still. The best music. Come you, on. To you. The best. It might be the Who best. Who messed with New York? Compare New York rappers, New York rap music in the 90s to what you listen to right now. There's a difference. Come no, on. There is a difference. All right but, then. So ain't no, ain't no issue with me listening to DMX. No, RP to DMX. I listen to all of them too. But what I'm saying is there's, there's still music out there, new music out I'm not there. saying I don't it's listen good. to them. I just, I still listen to 90s music. Of course. But I'm saying I know why. Nah, that's a fact. Before we go though, I want your opinion on something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, spoiler alert. If you didn't see the movie, we're about to start talking about Black oh, Panther 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Did y'all see Black Panther 2? Yeah, yeah, I seen uh -huh. my girl. All right. What'd you think about the movie, Cavallo? <laughs> if you had to give it out of 10. I'll give it... Uh, Movie-wise, I'll give it a 7. 7 Story out of 10? Storyline-wise, I wasn't a big fan of it. So overall? 6.5. 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. Trap, what you give it? i give it a 7. It was cool. Seven. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it actually more than I thought I would. Okay. Than I thought I would. And whatever, as far as like some of the action and stuff wise, but as far as most of the the storyline, I didn't really, I didn't really get get jiggy with it. And also, I felt like it went to me. I felt like even though it was two and a half hours, I felt like it went by kind of too too fast. It was like same thing. It felt even though it was two and a half hours long, but it like it just breezed by. Like this happened like so fast. Like, the writers ran yeah, through the so script. That was that's, bro. that's what I felt like. But other than that, it was cool for what it was. But like me personally, I'm more of a DC guy. Like. I feel like when it comes to like nah, that's a fact. movies and like But Marvel got it with the movies. Because because Disney and they and they, they're good at branding. That's what I feel like. They know how to do that. But when you <clears throat> actually watch movies, like I feel like DC makes better movies. Like the Batman movies, Facts. they make Black Christopher Adam. Nolan, right? Christopher yeah, Nolan. Yeah, like even just I'm talking about as far as the comic books of that of those characters, like DC, the Snyderverse and all of that, they make better mu um movies and comic book um shows too, also. Like I don't know if y'all watch Titans on HBO Max. Max. Like, Gotham. Gotham. All of like I DC do way better. But Marvel, they just got the name behind it and they throw the and they 
you know, so they they make everybody <laughs> draw to it. But like, it was cool for what it was. My favorite part about the movie, you already know, yeah, with the, the, the Zoe part, the Zoe part, the part with that. them yeah, going. You know, and it was crazy. I actually thought about, I also thought about too, and uh, and, 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 and how I'm like, my brother, yo. But like, can I that, say something? Haiti needed that. Yeah, like, they, they went did. to Haiti. That was like, I really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, I like that too. Um, like his that. son. Spoiler alert: T'Challa has a son. Yeah. His name is Toussaint. Toussaint, Haitian Revolution, yeah. led the army. Um, the house that Cherie went to visit said 1804. That was the address. Was the address yeah. It's the year Haiti got the independence. Exactly. Like, they did good. They did good with They that. did yeah. good, right? Um, she was speaking Creole. Like, they really showed Haitian culture in that movie. Yo, Lupita just in that brief scene. Got the yams, yo. Who? All right. Lupita, uh, she do. Lupita look, got the yams. I just want to say this, because I really liked, and I was really proud of the first one, right? Me too. You know, just a, a black... Main yeah, character, yeah. whatever. Rest and it's unfortunate. Peace, it's unfortunate that he passed away. I honestly don't feel like there needed to be a second one after he passes away. I feel like there's no way for them to write it to where it would make sense. I understand how we, you know, like you know, women can do what men that. do. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they had spoiler alert, the sister would kind of like take over. And, but and comic like books, the comic books, she did she take, over, take over. Too. I know, but like, I just don't think that it was. I feel like it just She immediately knew how to fight. It it just took it just took away from the first one and to me, it just I feel like it just wasn't needed. The movie wasn't needed. I feel like if we only had the first one, I would have been okay with the first one. I respect that. This this one is like but you know, okay, it's, it's a good it's, movie. They, they need to get their money because they, they probably signed contracts or whatever, but I feel like the writing and how it was gonna I mean, it was real predictable if you watch it. Yeah. It's but, also a big business too. We talking about yeah, 330 yeah, million yeah, yeah, yeah. box I just, office. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of it, the writing, and it's like, what when did this happen? Like he had I'm a child. When Batman, did this happen? Though. They did? Yeah, Batwoman or whatever. They scrapped DC, it. Yeah. Cause but they going through some contract negotiation with Discovery. So Warner Brothers scrapped that. Cause Michael Keaton was gonna um reprise his role as Batman in that. His Batman. voice or no, physically? No, he's going to be Batman. He oh, be shit. Yeah. So okay. I thought that was going to be good. That's what I'm saying. Like, DC, to me, make the better movies. Like, I still want to go see Black Adam. Uh, yeah, me Shazam, too. Because Shazam I was support good. The Rock. Like, yeah, Shazam the Rock was good. Yeah, Black, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see, see Black that, yeah. Adam. I want to see that. Is DC still. does Spider-Man as well? No, DC is Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, Cyborg, Flash. Flash. Okay. Um, I'd be, be confused about which yeah, one. Spider-Man is Marvel. I, another another one thing I didn't like, I feel like the movie was... There's so much rich heritage in that movie, right? When you think Black Panther, you think that amazing funeral they had, right. the send-off for Chadwick Boseman, but it was too, like, comedic. Like, I feel like they kept trying to have these little one-liner jokes and shit, and I was like, bro, this is the Black Panther pride, black people. I want to throw up the X. I don't want to laugh right now. <laughs> I do like how they wrote him out. Like, I, I like that they didn't just ignore him. Yeah, I yeah. like the way they yeah, wrote I him like out. I like that they did that. Yeah. You know? I like the way they wrote like, him they out. Sent them off to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't think it was needed, like... I don't know. I just... I mean, viewers, comment. <laughs> let us know what you think. You know, we appreciate y'all yeah. feedback. How you feel about Black Panther? Likes, dislikes, gripes, <clears throat> if any. And how let us next episode. Right. Gentlemen, this was a good one. Oh, that's the end? That's we, the, we at the end? Yeah, we the at the end, end oh, man. Shit. I was, I was comfortable. Yeah, me too. Me too, I man. We, we at the end. Still. We touched every topic. Nikki, I'm sorry that they keep shitting on you. <clears throat> Rest in peace. Take off. Rest in peace, yeah, Mrs. Really Robinson. Yeah, take off. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last Before you open go discussion. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this, yeah. This is thing, right? So let's say, for example, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about you know the levels of friendship, right? Absolutely. So let's say you, you have a best a best friend, a sandbox type friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have a woman that you've been with for five years. Mm -hmm. Y'all building, love her. You see no wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's perfect. And your best friend comes to you and say, "Yo, I seen your girl at the movie theaters with somebody." Now he's saying that, but your girl is like, impossible. I would never do that. He's lying. And they both in front of you right now, like you gotta choose one. Who you believe in? Now remember, your girl, five years, y'all building, y'all living together, everything is perfect. But this your man's from the sandbox. And he's telling you this. If he got proof. Damn. Is it no, there's no proof. There's no proof. Damn. Right now, they they telling you both their stories right now. And she's like, who you gonna believe? <laughs> nah, nah, females get. Who you gonna believe? Uh -huh. And then he's like, bro, like, I'm telling you. I is it worth the relationship for the for, for homies voice or are you going to just dis, dis, disregard what your Damn, your homie said that's a good question and take the girl side that's a really good question so i'm going to answer it truthfully yeah i, I know you would if it, if it like <laughs> come on man you know what it is bros over hoes man if Taking it was bro man Fuck you trusting here, your bro you trust, your, you trust your bro yeah i'm trusting my bro man he ain't going to ain't got no reason to lie to me man i respect bros that over hoes that man. was quick well, how you feel right now with the if it was a woman, if it wasn't the woman I'm with right now, 
Mm-hmm. I'll believe my brother all day, 24-7. But mm-hmm. I'm so confident mm-hmm. exactly. in the woman I have right now yeah, me too. that I would believe my woman. Nah, I'd be like, yo, my, my bro probably ain't see you clearly. Of course. Like, I would believe her because I'm confident in the woman I have right now. Mm-hmm. If you ask me this question five years ago. But he's ago, saying, like, bro, I was sitting right like It was her. Like, he's, he's like, adamant. Like, it was her. Like, bro, she's cheating. Like, bro. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You still going to the woman I'm with okay, right okay, now? Okay, okay, okay. I would okay. believe my woman. Okay, and I, I don't. I'm not. And then it's okay. So it's worth. Woman. So it's worth the friend because can I even like, bro? I can't. I nah, can't. nah, not at all. Because that's the relationship level I have with him. Mm. Just because I, I believe that that wasn't my girl there mm-hmm. doesn't mean I don't believe my friend. I know my best friend has my best interest at heart, but I believe that you're mistaken. Hmm. Like I know Cavallo got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. trying to take my woman. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, bro, I think you mistaken. Mm-hmm. Like, I know who I sleep next to every night. Okay. And that woman's not doing that. Mm-hmm. She'll leave me before she do that. Yeah. Okay. Know what I mean? But that's a great fucking question. Yeah, Cause I don't know. Who I don't you believe? Know, I don't not know. I'm gonna need. I don't not know. Honestly. That's if, how you. If, 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 if I'm talking about. If I'm talking about sandbox and I, I I trust this guy like my bro with my wife like that's not even a bro that's family now yeah that's a different type of trust I have a question do you trust your woman with your life at at five years so then they both deserve that same equity yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 like because yeah. the way I yeah. look at my, but then but then you like, also gotta figure out your bro there's times where you know you hear stories about family yeah your bro's family I have to I have another question okay. do you view your woman as family Um, There's no wrong answer. I know. I'm trying to figure out. I, I don't think I could compare a, a childhood sandbox, I've been through the trenches with you, to a woman that I'm trying to build a family with. Nah. That's too different. After five years, like sandbox. You can't compare five years to 25 years. You can't. But family's family. But that's different type of Like how you said, different type of family. Yeah, yeah, I there's different, type of, there's different Levels, types of family. Yeah. Levels to this. Yeah. That's, you just, you just become a family? Like there's difference. Like, yeah, it's different types of family. She coming in. Well, I she wish been Wolf here. was in here for that question. Like, like, he, like you know, he been here, and it's hard because like there's some guys who you know like you call them your brother and stuff, but they be like they low key want your woman. Want your woman. Yo, one, yo, one, your man. And that happens. Is crazy. And that happens. Yo, like I never do that to any of my friends. Like look at they woman. Like why would I want? Imagine that that's why I don't deal with women. <clears throat> and bro, listen, I've had like my homies, mm-hmm. my bros, like. Like exes and shit, like mm-hmm. do like you know. I'd be like, yo, what you doing? Like, like way back in the days and shit, right? So I don't fuck after my friends. This ain't high school. If you yeah. date a woman, she's off limits. Right. All my old work should be off limits. You feel me? Like that's just Agreed. what it is. Even during high school, I wasn't doing that. I'm, I don't. Nah, I high school, I ain't going. I don't think I was, that's even. You know I don't mean? like that at all. In high school, I'm six. If you can fuck him, you definitely ain't getting me. <laughs> I'm real bougie with mine. You feel me? But you gotta, you know. Like your woman is family, bro. When you start looking at your partner as family, mm-hmm. you you just trust them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, like I feel like the trust between one of them is gonna change after that situation. Cause now you're choosing one or the other. Not really. It is. Like, bro. Yeah, bro, like your bro gonna feel like, yo, like you gonna you gonna believe her and I'm telling you, like, yo, she playing you. But then if you choose a girl, you're gonna choose a girl and then you're gonna choose your brother, and your girl be like, Really? Like you think I'll do that to you? Something's gonna change between one relationship. Bro, so at what level in life do you do bros before hoes disappears? Like I'm trying to start my wife. own family now. But after five years, what you think the next step is? When your wife. The next step is get becoming yeah. a wife. Becoming a wife. So, so when your wife while, that bro, when your wife that is, bros, is, is, there's no more bros before hoes. That bros before hoes ideology <laughs> needs to disappear if you're trying to make her your wife. Mm, I think you have to be my wife. In order for that, <laughs> you, you, you yo, can't be trying still, to be my I'm wife. Not, yo, we gonna continue this next you can. episode. You can. We gonna continue you know I mean? this next episode. Tell me what y'all great. think. That was a great question, Cavallo. I, I loved it. You feel me? Um, this great was episode, episode 13. thirteen. We're in Studio B. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Each the number one. Teach the number one podcast. YouTube. Subscribe. E one T one podcast. Hell yeah! Oh, shout out to us being officially. Over 200,000 views. Hey. When we got to WTF, we had 100 subscribers. Right now, we're at 1,600. 1,600. Like, nice. level spelt backwards is level. Slow grind, man. Free tax That's stone. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Right. Yeah, hey, Cavallo, sign off, man. Tell the people where to find you. You guys can find me at Cavallo underscore, K-A-V-A-H-L-O underscore. And, you know, you didn't have thank to spell it out. Shut up. 
Thank you for watching. Thank y'all for, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We miss y'all. Hopefully facts. there's not going to be no no more breaks for y'all. We're going to just keep coming, keep facts. coming, keep coming. Facts, facts. Um, you know, I'm looking as good as always. Shout out to the girls <clears throat> that I speak to. And um, yeah. we got Big T here. We got Shout Killer Big Cavallo. T. Oh, righty then. So thanks y'all for watching another Great episode of the E1T1 podcast, episode 13. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode as much as I, I hope did. It's episode 13, though. This is. I will, whatever <laughs> oh, the number I is. Hope, did y'all not I, I just hope, I just hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope, did y'all not I hope it's episode As much 13, as I enjoyed I doing this and delivering this episode to y'all, you know what I mean? It's your boy Trap. That's where you can find me, Trap49 on Instagram. You can find all things E1T1 related. A few pictures of me, if in case you want to see what I look like. Um, yeah, everything hip hop on there, but other than that, we be back next time, you know what I mean? Studio B WTF is where the um that the magic happens. <laughs> and, you did know, the fact check. You did the fact check. Yeah, All right, so this is episode 13. All right, so then we lit. We lit. But um we we'll see y'all next time. Um real soon. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Happy holidays. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> it is 13 though, right? <laughs> All right, man. It's 13, Yo, right? Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> but you, Yo, you, you, said, you said 13 from the beginning. You was like, too late. You said, you said a fact check. Yo, the Yo Cavallo fact, fact check. Yo, Wolf, man. Huh? Yo, Cavallo had a great question I wish you were here for, bro. What'd he say? Um, God, Cavallo, I'll let you, you know what I mean? I wish you were here for that. I said, if you got up, bro, right? Sandbox type, bro. Uh -huh. We grew up together. Uh -huh.